Welcome back, everyone. It's Denise DiGregoli every Tuesday on HN Network Live with The Drive. The Drive is a motivational talk show that seeks to bring people on, places, ideas, and organizations that can move us forward, living mindfully and consciously. Uh, we believe that how you fuel your mind, body, spirit creates your lifestyle. And we start a little something new. In the beginning of the show, we always have two mindful minutes. Uh, the one I want to talk about today is I went to the Green Awards uh, last Thursday, and I learned that there is, by two, I think it was 2050, there will be more electronics in our ocean than there will be fish. That's a pretty scary statistic, and that was also reported by the Washington Post because I double-checked the facts. So what can we do today to live a little more mindfully and consciously? You know, start by repurposing whatever in your house that's plastic that maybe can use, be used as a second storage container or maybe your milk carton is a scoop for the fertilizer you're putting in your yard, stuff like that. But I also wanted to bring to your attention that Best Buy offers a program where you can uh, return all of your gift cards to the recycling kiosk. Uh, the gift cards are made out of PVC, one of the most to toxic plastics there are as well as there's 1,500 post offices nationwide that have gotten into a program with Clover Technologies that will recycle your telephones, your cell phones, your Blackberries, your ink cartridges for free. So in the spirit of spring cleaning, uh, organizing, let's think about what we can do to repurpose and reduce and shrink our waste and shrink those two gigantic, I think they said they're the size of Texas out in this, yeah, look at this. This is, a lot of the garbage just gets flushed up from the bottom of the ocean and eventually, you know, returns to places like Indonesia and Malaysia and the Philippines. Look at this lady. I mean, swimming through the garbage so she can actually enjoy her surfboard. Uh, we've got to really put a stop to this because 2050 is right around the corner. And now this map kind of shows where this grave uh, patch of garbage is. And we might be the worst, of, the least worst offenders here in the United States, but we still need to do our part. So that's the Mindful Minute today. Think about ways that you can repurpose, use things, and mindfully recycle your plastics. And my go-to word for March is collaboration. Do we have that? Yeah, great. It's not, imp it's not important who's right. It's about bringing your best to the table and seeing the best of what others can contribute. And that's what I think makes better business and a better life. So moving right along, we have an incredible story today. Um, my friend Karen Mayo comes to us from a referral, uh, and I, her story was intriguing. I watched her TED Talk, and it said that she had her nephew come to live with her unexpectedly, and she intuitively changed what was in his lunchbox and at his dinner meals and suddenly he went from maybe a C student to an honor roll student and she got a call from the school administrators and much to her surprise she thought she was being called in for maybe something not so great but she was really rewarded with good news and they really wanted to know what she had done and so I thought it would be a great thing again starting our spring we could think of detox cleansing organizing to hear her story and how it may help us as adults as well Welcome, Karen Mayo, an intuitive, in, uh, give me the formal title. It's Integrative Nutrition. Integrative Nutrition, but there's a certification. Yeah. I know you speak for Columbia University, yes. and you teach wellness corporate seminars and workshops around the country. That's correct. With an Amazon bestseller, Mindful Eating. Yes. We have a lot to talk about. Welcome. Thank you. Really appreciate you coming yes. in today. Absolutely. So take us back to your nephew needing to come to live with you. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. My sister, a single mom, she enrolled into the Army. She wanted to have a better life for her uh, son after she got out of the Army. Uh -huh. So Scott couldn't go with her to boot camp. So he, she asked if he could come stay with me, and I, of course I said. So Scott was eating everything from fast food to TV dinners, mm -hmm. and his favorite snack was in a bag with food coloring red, two, and yellow, five and six. All those non-cancer-causing <laughs> colors, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he was also diagnosed with ADHD and was taking medication as well. How old? He was six when he came? He was 13. Oh, okay. He was in sixth grade. Wow, sixth grade. Okay. Yeah. And then um, we established a new routine. Uh -huh. So um, I was made he resistant? 
No, okay. he wasn't. He loved his aunt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So um, I made him breakfast. I packed his lunch almost every day. And then um, I made him a healthy, nutritious dinner. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, everything was going well. And then I get the call from the school. Yeah. This and was very intriguing to me. It just, I got lured right in. And um, she asked if uh, I would come in to meet with the other teachers. And at first I thought it was just going to be the teachers. And then when I walked through the doorway, um, there was a big long table and it wasn't just th his teachers. It was also the principal, the vice principal, and the person from the school district. So there was about 12 people there. Wow. Yeah. Were you scared? I was. I'd be scared I too. I was. And when I walked through the doorway, um, the teacher who called me uh, was like right on cue. She said, Karen, don't worry. You're not in trouble. So go ahead and have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like going to the principal's office. Right. right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So at first I thought it was because he might need his ADHD medication, but um, that wasn't the case. Mm -hmm. They um, sat and um, told me how they were pleased with him. Um, they were going to reward him with honor roll and straight A's in math wow. throughout the school year. And um, apparently he was in the top 10% of the kids nationwide with the online math problems. and. I, I had no idea. I just sat there. I was my. Do you have children of your own? No, I do not. So this was really like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and um, they wanted to know what I would, what I did, mm -hmm. and I said, you know, this is my first time taking care of a teenager, so I, I really only did what my mom did with me and my sisters growing up, mm -hmm. and that was eating healthy, nutritious food. You had a great mom. Yeah, yeah. I did, and um, they were actually having a hard finding it hard to understand how he could go from a C mm -hmm. student at best sliding by to an A student on a roll. Mm -hmm. And I said, it's just the food. It's just the food. It's just the food. I'm feeding him and it's, it's healthy. So he's thinking healthier. You're right. His brain is clearer. Yeah. So when I was watching your TED talk, you gave some technical information about mm -hmm. pH. And mm -hmm. I thought that was very intriguing that the, wa the body is made up of mostly water which has hydrogen, and why wouldn't you check your pH? And in, in previous uh, shows, we've talked about how when your body's out of alkaline, you know, that's where diseases like cancer can exist and grow. Mm -hmm. So it really, I actually made my 13-year-old daughter watch your TED Talk uh -huh. because we're constantly talking about, you know, middle school is a place where there's just a plethora of food. Yes. And, and then you wonder, I said, you know, is it the distraction of social media combined with the fact that the food is Mets and Mets at best? Even if you pack a lunch, it kind of goes in the garbage mm -hmm. because the Doritos are there. Right. Right? Yeah. So tell us what you did at that point because were you in a different career or was that a transition for you? I was a totally in a new, different career. I was in finance and lending, uh -huh. so I was a mortgage professor. <laughs> right. And, um, and I, my journey led me to the Institute for Integrative Nutrition right. where I graduated and then became a member of the American Association of Drugless Practitioners. And I just... I went and I researched a lot of dietary theories, uh -huh. and um, the pH isn't talked about a lot, the acid-alkaline balance in food. So, and it's very, very important because, like you said, the tumors and you know, cancer can start if your body is very acidic always. So the drive seeks to, pe to educate people mm -hmm. and give them a new ways to think about things. And if they're stuck with something, maybe reframe it. So take us back to the beginning because maybe everybody doesn't even know what we're talking about. Okay. What is pH? Like why, is that like shampoo and the pH in my hair, the pH in my fish water, as you say? Right, well, you, yeah. you have to check the pH in the fish tank, correct? Right. And or the, the fish were gonna die. Right. And you have to check the pH in the soil or the plants won't grow properly. Right, great analogy. Yes, and you also have to check the pH in your pool. Right. Right? Yeah. We are 80% water, mm -hmm. so we need to be checking our pH as well. Mm -hmm. And um, you can do that by using litmus paper. Yeah, I, I bought some at Whole Foods, so we actually check at home. But, but what would make people that have never done this before think it's not some crazy holistic thing that we're just trying to, you know, I want to put a little more science behind it. Okay, so um, if you're constantly eating acidic foods, which is what tomatoes? Um, well, tomatoes actually um, are they are, they affect your body differently when you eat them and you're consumed. Just like lemons, uh -huh. lemons are very alkaline for your body, but they're obviously very acidic on the outside. Right. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I would have thought that. And limes are the same way. Mm -hmm. 
So um, once your body consumes them, they actually become alkaline. Mm -hmm. So acidic foods would be like coffee. I'm a big coffee drinker. Yeah. We were just talking okay. about that before we came on. A little trick for that uh -huh. is if you throw some baking soda in your coffee, it will actually um, neutralize. Oh, is it going to taste terrible? Though? It doesn't taste terrible. <laughs> I'm giving you a little tip. <laughs> how, <laughs> you, how, how much do I have to put in my coffee? <laughs> just a little bit, but I don't advocate drinking coffee unless it's black. Okay, yeah, I drink black coffee, but I was just telling our producer, Kate, that that green tea that we were talking about mm -hmm. really diminishes my uh, need for coffee. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, so what other foods should we avoid that are high, highly acidic? Okay, um, animal proteins, such as beef. Yeah, um, even organic, grass-fed. Well, you know, you, there's a time for that, like yeah. make meatless Mondays or something like that, or have meat like once a week. Or meatless Mondays. I like meat once a week. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So what else is uh, highly acidic? Um, all your processed foods. Like McDonald's. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's something about teenagers, they just gravitate towards some of those fast food shops. I don't want to name anyone, but you know, next to School of Rock is a subway, and wow, you just, it's like pulling them off the... I know, and yeah. you know, with when I had my nephew with me, so it was just making um, healthier decisions, and we didn't take him to fast food. No. There, there's just no way. I know, we don't either, but we get you know a lot of flack for that. Okay, so beyond processed foods, uh, what about like alcohol, beer, wine? Um, that is very acidic as well. <laughs> <laughs> but once a week, once a week, uh, red wine. Okay, so okay. Pinot Noir yes. is the best. Okay, Pinot Noir is yeah, the best. Is the best. Take a note, ladies. Yes. Pinot Noir. Okay, um, and. And you know, just be mindful. Be mindful. Yeah. Well, yes, I think that's, my grandmother used to say everything in moderation, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. Okay, and what foods are alkaline? Okay, so your greens. Yes. Um, also lemons, your um, seaweed, uh -huh. um, your grasses, like any kind of greens and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of like, wa like water, um, alkaline you can also have like cucumbers mm -hmm. um, so water-based foods like a watermelon yes, for example exactly so you know there's a lot of we've had other um, nutrition oriented folks on mm -hmm. and you know I, there's a common thread about eating healthy and exercising so where I land is am I paleo am I alkaline diet am I the blood diet am I am I you know Atkins diet, mm -hmm. MI South Beach diet. Now, what is your advice to someone that maybe has tried all of these and has had limited success? Okay, so most diets mm -hmm. um, are very general. So they're not going to, um, like one diet for you isn't gonna work for someone else just because you your whole background is different than someone else's. Mm -hmm. um, your body is very bio-individual, yeah. so um, what maybe you eat is going to be someone else's poison. Mm -hmm. So, and vice versa, meaning like, um, you know, gluten or, you know. Um, did you focus in on this with your nephew? Like, did you know what to, were you trying to cure something or did you no, surprisingly cure something? Um, I surprisingly um, found out that his eating changed the way he was thinking. Mm -hmm. um, so his grades got better. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't notice, I, I mean, I, I didn't know I was doing anything right. I mean, I mean, I knew I was doing it right, but I didn't, I didn't know exactly what I was doing. You didn't know what change you were affecting. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So what would you say to someone that, um, like, you know, there's all different times in our life when we can have brain fog, especially as ladies, right? Right. Uh, Post-delivery post of a child, mm -hmm. uh, menopausal, yep. stress. Um, and with children, I think stress, right? So when, when do we know, do we, ch is it, give me like a skeleton of what we can do to help our audience. Like, do they change their eating today? Is it baby steps? It's totally baby steps. Okay, and so what are the baby steps? So the baby steps are, you know, first of all, find out um, what, you're, what you're doing every single day and just see how you can take one thing away or add one thing that's more healthy, mm -hmm. like add more vegetables. Mm -hmm. And if you think that you um, still have enough vegetables, add more vegetables. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> Double it up. Double it up. Right. Because you can eat as many vegetables as you want. Uh -huh. And um, I mean, that's really the first step. And drink more water. Drink more water. Yeah. We got a little signal from Eric that we need to take a break, okay. but this is fascinating. I have tons of questions to ask, as okay. I'm sure many of the uh, viewers do as well. Wonderful. We'll be right back, Karen. Thanks so much. It's Denise DiGregoli with The Drive Live every Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in. Darien Sport Shop is a unique store because it's a family store. A busy mom can come in with kids in tow and find everything she needs for them and even find a dress for herself for Saturday night. And if she's in a rush, she can simply go home and order it from us that night. We'll deliver it the next day. The Darien Sport Shop. We're pretty on the outside and amazing on the inside. Conveniently located with free and easy parking at 1127 Post Road, Darien, Connecticut. Or shop us online at dariensport.com. When you experience a sports injury, you want to get better and fast. Coastal Ortho Express gives you direct access to orthopedic care quickly. Their physicians are fellowship trained in sports medicine at world-class universities and are also team doctors for area football teams. For specialized personal care of sports injuries, go to Coastal Ortho Express. Open Monday through Saturday in the iPark building, 761 Main Avenue in Norwalk or CoastalOrthoExpress.com. Coastal Orthopedics, keeping you on the move. Walter Stewart's Market in New Canaan is your time-saving local shopping destination for the best of spring. Find many of your favorite products, from great specials on everyday items to the freshest organic produce, artisanal cheeses, and grass-fed steaks. Chop off your knives to be sharpened, grab a beautiful bouquet of spring flowers, and stop in next door for a wine tasting. Plus, their personable staff is always ready to lend a helping hand. So stop in to Walter Stewart's Market, 229 Elm Street, today, or shop online at stewartsmarket.com. Can't wait for it to get warmer so you can start fishing again? Get over to the Dock Shop, where they have the latest in fishing tackle, marine electronics, boating supplies, and more. But remember, the Dock Shop isn't your average tackle shop. You'll also find the finest selection of nautical apparel, jewelry, home decor, and gifts in New England. Boater, beach bum, fishermen, or simply love the New England coast, this is a unique place to shop. The Dock Shop, 51 Tokenik Road, Darien, 609 Riverside Avenue, Westport, DocShop.com. I'm Kate Chaplinski. Join us for Coffee Break weekdays at 11 to get the latest Connecticut news, weather, high school sports, and more. News doesn't get any more local than on Coffee Break on the HAN Network. Happy spring, everyone. It's Denise DiGregoli live here on The Drive every Tuesday from our HAN Network studios in Shelton. The Drive seeks to bring people, places, ideas, and organizations together that can move us forward, teach us something new, help us live more mindfully and consciously. And we're talking to Karen Mayo, integrative nutrition, in, yep. right. fabulous integrative nutrition health coach, bestseller, yeah. Amazon, Amazon bestseller. Amazon, yeah. We're going to talk more about your book, but I want to show everyone your TED Talk because Eric found it. Now tell us how you got this TED Talk. Very uh, impressive. Thanks. I actually was in a mastermind um, meeting in Philadelphia, uh -huh. and uh, one of the gentlemen heard my story about my nephew, uh -huh. and um, he asked if I would do a TED Talk, and that was it's simple as that. Uh -huh. and, um, well, that's also what inspired me because uh -huh. when I heard that you had helped your nephew transform his life essentially through just small eating changes mm -hmm. and he got a clarity of mind that sent him from C's to high honors I thought this can work for adults oh, yeah. so you know we're all over multitask we're all running around we're grabbing food from the shelves we think what we're doing is right in some cases in other cases we know what we're doing is wrong mm -hmm. so what can we tell our audience today that's where we were before we uh, left for break um, what can they do other than the baby steps the small little baby steps is it, uh, did you set forth a program in your book that I might did. be helpful tell us a little yeah. bit about that program sure um, the program is based on um, taking some things out of your 
diet, what do you eat daily as far as um, alcohol, dairy. Um, oh, dairy too. Dairy. That's a very common one. It is. ask you to remove. Yes. Now, I've been yet able to do that. So when people like me want to try this, but resist it, like what can we do to get over the hurdle? Okay, so um, do you like almond milk? Mm, coconut milk. Coconut milk. Okay, great. So that's a great substitution. Mm -hmm. um, number one, it's very healthy. And number two, there's um, minerals actually and vitamins in, in coconut. Mm -hmm. So um, try as much as you can to stay away from dairy. Mm -hmm. um, What's wrong with dairy? Is it, is it acidic? It's very acidic. And wow. uh, yes, it's very acidic. And also, um, unless you're having fresh uh, milk from the farm. From the cow? From the cow, yes. Unless you're getting it from a farm. Um, if you're getting it from the grocery store, unfortunately, there's a lot of um, hormones and mm -hmm. other things that are in there um, that probably you shouldn't be eating mm -hmm. or drinking. Um, sometimes it can have um, an effect on your digestive system. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes, you know, children will get um, acne or even adults will get acne because of dairy. Really? Yeah. That's interesting because my daughter was allergic to milk when uh, growing up, mm -hmm. and she was raised on soy and almond milk. Okay. And now again in middle school with all these fabulous, not so great choices, mm -hmm. she's having ice cream and this and that, mm -hmm. and she has acne. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's yeah. So it's like these small little things that we don't realize. Now, in, is it my understanding that when you go towards a alkaline diet, yes, it allows your liver to do its job more effectively. Correct. And when the liver is working better then your brain is working better. Absolutely. Because all, you're cleaning out the pipes, so to Yeah, speak. you can totally, like your body's being processed better, like you can think better. And also, um, with the dairy, if you m make your homemade ice cream, mm -hmm. that's a lot better than buying it. Yeah, um, well, Because at, at least you know what's going on in the ice cream. Right. Um, I choose not to make the ice cream because then I'd be eating the ice cream. Okay. and I, <laughs> I know. <laughs> so good. Yes. Um, <laughs> And my husband and daughter are, are in much, uh, they're much more astute than I am, so they can afford the few extra calories. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so moving towards an alkaline bi di uh, diet, because I really like this, how long does it take? Um, you will see definitely results in about three weeks. Really? Yes. If, and that's including the time to just make these baby step substitutions? Yes. So I'm just going for vegetables, I'm killing the dairy, I'm by boycotting the booze. And sugar. And sugar. Mm -hmm. But sugar's in everything. It is. That's why you have to make everything. So can I not have strawberries or cantaloupe? No, you can totally have those. Uh, those are the natural sugars, and those are very healthy. So no off-the-shelf sugars. Exactly. No processed Fruit sugar. Fruit sugars, yep. legume sugars are fine. Yes. Uh -huh. yep. So is this a complicated process, or did you just start doing, as you said, you just started making them healthy, nutritious meals, and things just started to click. Yeah, I actually, um, I just kept doing what my mom did. So, I mean, I didn't, again, I just kept doing the routine that I had with him. Mm -hmm. So it was the healthy routine instead of him having um, fast food or, you know, anything like that as far as processed foods. And I get that people are busy. And I get that, you know, um, just making one healthy meal for a child can be a, just a start, you know. Um, and I'm here to help anyone that needs help. Mm -hmm. um, with that, so um, if you need any sort of, we'll give your links and your website and your link to your book towards the end of the show. Okay. So people can uh, contact you if they're interested. And from, so now where is he now? How he's old in, is he now? Well, he's 16. And okay. He, he's out in California, uh -huh. and um, unfortunately, he's back to sliding by again uh. with grades, and he's back to eating the same way. Isn't that interesting? Yes. And actually, he came back to um, see me in September. Uh -huh. And um, he said to me, <laughs> he goes, I know what you did with me. And I just want to let you know I am very proud of you. And, um, and he was like, well, you know, my mom can't cook that way. And I said, I get it. I know the Army has probably, you know, a lot more pressure than Aunt Karen does. Right. So. Um, Most sur surely at this yeah. time in the world. Yeah. Um, so. What, have you done any work with this with other um, organizations or people that had ch have children with these type of uh, issues like ADHD and so on? Because I know even uh, with 
friends that have Lyme's disease, this type of diet is very, very important. Yes. Um, I actually do have a bunch of clients that I'm working with right now that um, I have taken them through my program. Mm -hmm. And they have lost, um, I have one client um, lost 125 pounds. Wow. And she was on, she has MS and she was on her medication like every single day. Mm -hmm. And now she's back to, um, you know, to not having to take all of her medications. Um, I also have a client that had MS that also went to an alkaline diet that saw significant redu reduction in her symptoms. Yes. I, I'm not sure if she took medication or not, but I know that she saw significant reduction. So is an alkaline diet also gluten-free? Do they go hand in hand? Um, because yeah. gluten free drives me crazy. Mm. I can't. It's like reading every single box, and now even lipstick has gluten in it. Yeah, I mean, it's just you know, just being mindful. Just make the best decisions that you can, uh -huh. and then you know, every day there's always room for improvement. And if for some reason you, you're using your lipstick, and you know you love the <laughs> color, just keep using it. You know, you got to live your life too. You know, that's what my trainer says. You have to live your life too. Yeah, just be mindful and do things in moderation. Exactly. Exactly. Brings it right back to my grandmother again, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I want to know more. I understand that you were the mortgage broker, but you're into beekeeping. Yes. You were a sous chef, mm -hmm. model, actress, and one other thing. So, and you look very young. We don't need to disclose ages here, and we never should on each other here no. at the at the at the drive. So, tell me how you transitioned through all these careers, and then tell me what's next. Okay. So growing up on a farm in Pennsylvania um, was probably my, my foundation, uh -huh. you know, because we had pigs and cows. So that's, and we had a big, huge garden. So I grew up eating healthy. Right. And then um, from there, going into be a model actress, I mean, I was always the go-to person for health and wellness because everyone kind of knew I grew up on a farm in Pennsylvania, you know. Um, did you go into the city for that? I did, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, um, I did. And... Um, and from there, I became, um, I was always a bartender, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think also, you know, just dealing with people and, and in food again, mm -hmm. in the food industry, as a sous chef in mm -hmm. the food industry, loved cooking, mm -hmm. um, still do. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I guess, you know, just going from one career to another just made st stepping stones for... So you kind of let it unfold. Yeah. Uh -huh. As opposed to being very like, I'm going to do this, 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 and this. Right. Right. Great. So then you are a bartender. Now, I need to know, is there one alkaline drink other than Pinot Noir that I can have? Like a drink drink, like a mojito. Okay, so use cucumber. So take, <laughs> take a cucumber. <laughs> And, uh, you know, blend that up uh -huh. and uh, use that as your water. Okay. And um, you could throw some greens in there, too. Okay, throw so, a little mint or something in yeah, there. Yeah, some herbs. Yeah, yeah, maybe not kale. Well, you never know. Maybe we'll have to come up with the best cocktail that's alkaline-free. Maybe that, that we uh, will run a contest on that and see what, okay. what people can do. All right. Okay, so you've got, you move forward. You were into mortgage brokering when you took on this career. Correct. How long have you been doing this? Um, five years. Wow. Yeah. And so what have you seen over the history of your career as a nutrition coach um, as our world has changed? Because it certainly has. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot more mindful now. It is. You know, people are recycling. People are eating more healthy. People are, there goes my mic. People are thinking about, you know, living consciously and collaborating. So what have you seen? with your clients? Because I know what I like about you is you're helping humanity one person at a time. Exactly. Which I think is a great tagline. Thank you. Yeah. Um, for me, I've, I've noticed that it's almost the same questions. Um, and What are they? So do I really have to give up coffee? Yeah. Do I? No. Okay. Um, but we're just going to scale it back from three cups to one cup. Mm. For me, it's five to three. Oh. We're going to start there. Okay. Okay. So what are the other questions? And the other questions are, um, do I really have to have kale? <laughs> <laughs> my mother served my niece kale this mor this weekend. She said, ooh, Grammy, kale. <laughs> yeah. And you, um, you don't necessarily have to have kale. But if you mix kale with um, some spinach and some um, blueberries with pineapple and some coconut water mm -hmm. and blend it, ooh. 
Oh, it's so delicious. Is it? So delicious. Oh, we should have had you come and make one. Then. I will. So I'll come try. back. I'll right, yeah. try it. Totally. Because that kind of freaks so me out. So good. Okay. No, once what, you try it, you'll be like, mm, hooked. What about, I have, a th I have a slow thyroid. What about those of us that are told not to do kale or soy because okay. it diminishes the so thyroid? Okay. What's the, sub see, I have an excuse away from the kale. That's okay. <laughs> what, what's the solution? Okay, so the solution um, from that is just adding... Um, Coconut, you have to do coconut water, other vegetables such as yes. um, cauliflower. Co okay, I can do cauliflower. Yeah, broccoli. Broccoli. Yeah. Mm. Broccoli. Well, well, broccoli is good with apples. Yes, broccoli is good with apples. Yes. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk about more cool recipes of out-of-the-box broccoli, apples, and things that we can do to turn on our alkaline and turn off our pH. Perfect. Okay. Great. Thanks so much. This is a great show, guys. Tune in. We'll be back in two minutes. Denali is your outdoor retail destination in the Westfield Trumbull Mall. For the last 21 years, we have carefully selected clothing, footwear, and gear from a variety of the best outdoor brands, such as the North Face, Patagonia, Vineyard Vines, Ugg, Merrill, GoPro, New Balance, and many more. Our stores have a friendly, knowledgeable staff to help you with all of your running, hiking, and cold weather needs, and in discovering all things outdoorsy and awesome. Visit us in the Westfield Trumbull Mall or online at DenaliOutdoor.com. Find over a thousand special stories at Hospital for Special Surgery. Go to hss.edu slash back in the game. I was jogging five months after my cartilage tear. Skiing a year after hip surgery and playing grandma four weeks after hip replacement. One special hospital, a thousand special stories. See Connecticut patients at hss.edu slash ct. For more than 50 years, Triple S has been Fairfield County's expert service for carpet, upholstery, and drapery cleaning. We provide the best in repairs and in-depth restoration, understanding fabrics and how to properly clean and restore them. Our staff will come to your home to clean your wall-to-wall -wall carpet to perfection. We can also pick up your fine carpets and bring them to our facilities with locations in Norwalk, Stanford, and Stratford, Triple S will get the job done fast, big or small. At Triple S, you can count on our people as well as our cleaning. Find us at triplesclean.com or 203-847-8000. Here at The Organic Yard, we use bio-nutritional products in our lawn care programs, which reduces the need for fertilizers, nitrates, phosphates, and pesticides up to 80%, making a safer environment for your family and pets. With our organic lawn treatment, you'll receive vigorous, healthy plants with improved root development and better drought resistance. Enroll now in our 2016 Organic Yard Program and get a free organic deer tick treatment. Call us today at 914-764-5491 or go to our website at millerslandscapinginc.com. What's happening up in Hartford and what's trending in the nutmeg state? Join Kate Chaplinski and Josh Fisher on CT Pulse live Wednesdays at 12.30 to find out. We talk to the leaders and newsmakers while breaking down the stories you should be paying attention to each week. With the help of HAN's editorial cartoonist Doug Smith, we take a humorous look at the news of the week. We talk about everything you were told you should avoid bringing up in polite company. CT Pulse, Wednesdays at 12.30 on the HAN Network. We're back. It's Denise DiGregoli every Tuesday on the HN Network, and I'm so happy to have guests on Spectacular like Karen that help us live mindfully and consciously. And we're talking about great recipes and things that we can eat that are fun combinations to keep our body moving towards an alkaline state. Mm -hmm. What is a good number? alkaline wise is uh, it different for everybody yeah everyone's different so you, when you're testing it you want to be a seven a seven yeah and that's your urine or your saliva are those little strips at whole foods yes. accurate yeah well yeah they are so they are yeah unless you want to go to your um health professional and get a blood test but i don't want to spend do any extra money on medical this year <laughs> <laughs> i'm good after my achilles surgery so um are those strips accurate though and when's the best time to do it is it morning night First thing in the morning, right? you want to use your um, urine or saliva. Mm -hmm. Your saliva is more acidic mm -hmm. than your urine, just so you're aware of that. Okay. And so are there days, are there natural cycles where it's going to be a three one day and a seven another? No, it's all, actually, it's, it, we are what we eat, right? Right. So um, if I go on a booze binge after a big wedding with, you know, cake with frosting, yeah, that's I'm going to be three? Probably a three, yes. Yeah. And how quickly, so the goal is to always keep it at seven. Yes. Okay. So tell me about some of these recipes, because I like apples and um, 
broccoli. Mm -hmm. What else can we do? Okay. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Because it's like Food Network right now. I know. I love right. that. I love food. Love yeah. talking about food. Okay. So what? Give me some good recipes. Okay. So um, you could also use um, pumpkin. Yeah. With some red pepper. Fresh pumpkin? Fresh pumpkin. Yeah. Or you can... Um, can you don't want to buy it out of the can. No. No. Well, unless you're making a smoothie. Yeah. I don't like aluminum cans, though. That's true as yeah. well. Yeah. Okay, so pumpkin. Pumpkin. Yeah. With uh, red pepper. Red pepper. And quinoa. Wow. Is that a smoothie? No, that's actually... You can cut up the pumpkin after yeah. you steam it. Or actually, you can even use um, a sweet, sweet potato. Right. The pumpkin, I have this ribbon cutter from Italy that makes it into ribbons, like zucchinis. Oh, nice. And so you can really steam it really easily. Yes. Yeah, because pumpkin is so dense. Okay, it, what else? Um, tell me what you like. Zucchini. Zucchini. Okay. Well, zucchini, um, again, you can throw that into, you can make um, pasta. pasta with yeah. that as well. Um, Zucchini, you can pretty much do anything with zucchini. So um, I saw a recipe on with pine nuts, lemon. Are nuts alkaline? Nuts are, uh, it depends which nuts. Okay. Like peanuts, no. Okay. Um, what like are the good nuts? Brazil nuts are really good and healthy. Almonds. Almonds, um, yeah. Walnuts uh -huh. are your omega 3s. Mm -hmm. um, and hazelnuts. Hazelnuts. Are, are really delicious for you. Okay. Cashews? Cashews are... Um, Love cashews and pistachios. Yeah, they're, they're okay. They're okay. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> different from an adult to a child, how can we get our children to kind of sink down into these kind of cool combinations? Because that's where I need the most help, and I'm assuming most of our listeners are like, yeah, my kids like, want everything out of a bag, or they eat one vegetable. Okay, well, get them involved. Um, see if you can get them, if they want to help you cook, mm -hmm. um, or... You know, find out, take them grocery shopping, or mm -hmm. find out what they want to eat. That's a good idea to take them grocery shopping. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I, I didn't get the answer, and I okay, forgot the sorry. question. That's all right. My fault. Uh, what's next? Like, where are you taking this? Okay. Best seller, TED Talk. Mm -hmm. So one person at a time. I know you do some great workshops for some uh, corporations here in the area. Yes. Um, I'm also putting together an online program so that I can um, don't necessarily have to be with everybody, but they can still get the um, the program. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm work that's what I'm working on right now. And when is that going to be launched? Do you know? Um, I'm hoping by June uh -huh. of this year. So um, as we kind of wrap up our conversation today, and I'm mm -hmm. so grateful that you came in. What when we've kind of gone all over the board, and I'm so glad that your nephew, you know had some success. It's often similar like uh, the people that use my daily drive. They have great success and then when things start going well, they, they jump off of it. And you always know that it was great success, you can come back to it. But for somebody starting from scratch, i.e. me, mm -hmm. what am I going to do? I'm going to add vegetables, I'm going to substitute dairy. Yep. Mind, tell me how we're going to work with our minds. Because you know, old habits and routines are hard to break, especially when you are working and managing a family mm -hmm. or managing whatever you're managing. Right. Life is challenging. It is. And um, just take some time out for yourself. Uh -huh. Do some self-care, whether that be um, doing some mindful meditation, mm -hmm. journal writing, mm. or um, taking a time for... Um, that wasn't planted, guys, the journal writing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and a massage. You know, get a massage. Uh -huh. um, go get a pedicure, a manicure, just as simple as that. Mm -hmm. um, and again, taking a time out uh, for yourself and just being grateful to be alive. Mm. Look around you and um, you know, look at the birds. I mean, right now it's a beautiful time to be out. Well, we hardly had a we hardly had a, a winter. winter. Yes. I know. So, um, tell us the name of your website. Sure, it's um, KarenMayo.net. Karen KarenMayo.net. Simple. Simple. And people can contact you through there. Is there a contact phone? Yeah, uh, you okay. can contact me through my website uh -huh. if you have any questions. Uh -huh. um, and I'll be looking forward to helping one person. I think the next time we have you back, we are going to make an array of smoothies yes. that are alkaline positive. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do one or two like cool pre-made salads because that's what I've been trying to do, make some cool salads. Okay. I made a chicken salad with some vegetables and just a little olive oil. Mm -hmm. And that's my go-to snack right now. Okay. So we're going to have you back for some of that. Love to. Thank you so much for coming on and Thank sharing you. your story. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. A pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, guys. Um, 
We are going to be back next week, but two weeks after that, we're going to take a small uh, hiatus for the holidays and some special events that are going on here at HN Network. It's Denise DiGregoli live every Tuesday. And if you are a a uh, person that has something you'd like to share and would like to bring your motivation to the Daily Drive, please let us know. Tweet us at uh, Hand CT. Hand Network CT. We'll see you next Tuesday. Thanks so much.